Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Hey, praise the Lord. I'd like to bless you today with, with a fresh word coming from the Breakthrough Church. And uh, this word is going to be so powerful today because I believe that there's some people that really need to hear it. And I want to share something with you. You know, when, it, when the enemy is working in our life, he feeds on certain things in our life. Really understand this. He feeds on negative energy. He feeds on negative thoughts. He feeds on fear. He feeds on confessions of the same issue and problems over and over again in our life. And these are some of the tools that the enemy used in order to keep us bound. Bound in what? Bound in uh, 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 negative energy, bound in sickness, or whatever the case may be that we can't get out. He utilized tools to do, do these things in our lives. So I'm going to expose them today to you. And I hope that you take the word of God and utilize it and come out. Let me open in prayer. Father, we thank you today. In Jesus' name, we give you glory and praise. We bless you. Father, open the eyes of your people. We push back of everything that don't belong to us right now. In the name of Jesus. And Father, I ask for someone right now that need your peace right now. That it will fall fresh right now. In the name of Jesus. So, Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for your word that's going forth and setting people free today. We thank you for your word going forth that's tearing down strongholds today. And we give you all the glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. The word I want to share with you today is a powerful word that can assist you to come out of wherever you're stuck at. See, the issue is, is that we have to make a decision to come out. Most of the time when the enemy have us bound and locked in areas in our life, we become at a place, uh, we become into a place where we become comfortable. Guess what? The enemy tells us that it's normal to be bound. It's not normal. We have the power and authority to come out of it. All right. And I'm going to share a word with you. And if you could embrace this word today, your whole dynamics of your atmosphere would change because you have positioned yourself to trust God. So this is what I want to share with you. You might be able to see yourself in this, too. Right. What I'm about to share with you. So really listen carefully. All right. And this is what the, the Galatians Paul was sharing in the book of Galatians. Uh, chapter uh, uh, 5 and verse 16. And he gave us a discreet word that says that this is what you must do. Well, somebody may say, well, that was Paul talking. He don't know my situation. Well, God does. And he's giving you a word through Paul what to do. So this is what he says. He says, so I say live by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of your sinful nature. What, what, what you mean about that? Well, what Paul is talking about is that if you keep God first, all the other stuff can't get in. Get that? Get in. What you mean? Like, like anger, for example. Huh? Or unforgiveness. See? All these things won't dominate you. I didn't say you wouldn't think about it, but you know that when God got your back, that you're okay. So he said, if you keep God up front, you could receive everything that God told you that belongs to you. Did you know that God loved you so that he sent Jesus for you? And not only did he send Jesus for you, but he sent the Holy Spirit with Jesus. And the Holy Spirit that some people talk about today like it's a joke. But the Holy Spirit has the power to do miracles and wonders in a person's life. A lot of times that we deal with things in our life and we're struggling in things because we don't want to turn it over to God. So now we're carrying a backpack. It's so heavy that now it's getting overwhelmed. Can you relate to that? I could to some degree. Now watch this. He's going to say, this is what 
the nature of our makeup of the world designs. So some of them titles may be, it could be, you could put the title on it. For some, it could be drinking, for some other, smoking, blah, blah, blah. and you keep going with the titles. Because this is what the world offers, right? Like right now, somebody is so confused right now. Why? 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 Because God is not first. See, if there's no morals, there's no guidelines, which is the word of God that they can follow. Why? Because they made a decision not to. Can you relate? Watch this. The nature of the sinful nature, watch this, will always weep destruction. Did you get that? It always weep destruction. The one who sows to please the spirit from the spirit will weep eternal life. What, what, what you mean by that? It means that when God is first in your life and you doing the best of your ability to follow God, God is going to bring you, going to bag you up and bring you out. How do you know that? Because God is not a God that can lie. Like right now, he's calling you into a place to come out. He's reaching out his hand to you right now. No matter what you may be in right now, whatever your condition is, God is able to bring you out. Do you want him to? That's the question for today. Do you want God to bring you out? Yes, I want him to. Well, if you want him to, then submit. Because if you don't, if I don't, this is what happens. Let us not become weary in doing good, so don't give up. Continue to stay strong and trust the Lord, right? Continue to trust the Lord. But this is what happens right here. When the sinful nature is operating in our life, we weep nothing but destruction. Why? Because the flesh want what is wants. Watch this what he said. It said they are in conflict with each other. The spirit of God is in conflict with the spirit of darkness. So that you do, do not do what you want. When the spirit of God is in control, it empowers me to overcome obstacles in my life. So when I want to do something, I, I don't do it because what's in me is greater than what's in the world. What's in the world today? Uh, it's just normal to be like this. It's just normal to be so disbobulated in my mindset that it, it's normal. No, it's not normal. The enemy wants you to think it's normal and wants you to be comfortable in that place. But God have a word for you. He wants you to come out. He wants you to come out, but you have to make the decision to do it. So this is what happens when we are under this regime. When the enemy is controlling our life, we have no peace. We are dealing with all type of chaotic relationships. We are dealing with arguing all the time. People just talking, there's no good. Bad and turn to good. Bad is looked at as good. And good is looked at as bad. These is the results we get when we're walking in the flesh. So we wonder, why am I so stressed out right now? We wonder, why I just stay confused all the time? We wonder, why do I keep attracting the same people to my life? We wonder these questions. But guess what? Paul just revealed the answer. It's the sinful nature that's operating. So I have to make a decision to come out. Let me hit with this last verse here. So he's going to say, and these are some of the things that, that, that comes out of it, right? Like uh, uh, sexual immorality, impurity. Adultery, witchcraft, hatred, jealousy, rage, selfish, ambitions. Huh? Sound familiar? Envy? All these things comes out of the flesh. But God want to call you to his grace. So with that, 
Change the mindset. My name is Pastor Clay.